Yo, what is Amaro? So today we're gonna be breaking down the WRTC Underground 2 uh, the results for this event and our honest review and opinions about this event. Let's go into the video. So first off, the headliner match, Seth Gross versus Thomas Gilman. So basically in the beginning, Gilman was definitely the aggressor in this matchup. Um, he got off to, I think, a push out, got one point, it was 1-0 at the break. And then after the break, uh, Gross ended up countering one of his shots, I think. Ended up scoring a takedown and a tilt, and then Gilman reversed that. So it's 4-2 at that point, um, and then just good defense by Gross. Gilman got to his legs, I think, twice, but ended up getting push outs on both of those. Making the score 4-4, to um, and then since it was freestyle, no overtime, went to criteria. And since Gross had the uh, like biggest point move, since he had two two-point moves and uh, Gilman only had four one-point moves. Gross ended up winning the match on criteria. The rest of the event results um, basically what happened. Going to put it on the right somewhere. Uh, but at 182 pounds, Graham Cowan beat Tanner Mendoza 12 to 10. Uh, the next match, 150, 12 to 1 in favor of Simon. I got a tech and then Kaylin Gunderson ended up tech falling. Uh, Maddie Aroll, uh, Joey Bianchi ended up winning 12 to 4. Uh, Chris Weller pinned Kobe Woods, the only pin of the event, in 1 minute 35. Uh, Paul Biaggi also ended up beating uh, Kyle Berwick 10-6. Drew Hildebrandt ended up getting a decision over Eric Barnett 10-4. Kyle Welker, Tech for the Mark title 10-0. Rana Heaton decision over Coral Sugiyama 10-7. Evan Wick had a Tech fall over Kennedy Monday 16-5. Um, Aaron Golson beat... Maria Vidal is 7-1 and the headliner match Seth Gross ended up beating uh, Thomas Gilman 4-4 by criteria. Our honest review on this whole entire event. In my opinion, like I said in my predictions video, I didn't really think it was going to be that interesting. And in my opinion, it wasn't that interesting. Uh, I watched it in the first like 10, 13 matches, including the undercard. In my opinion, I just felt like I didn't really care about those matches. Not like entertaining. Uh, no big name wrestlers and a lot of these matches were not that close they were either like 10-4 10-0 10-6 um i think there was maybe like three or four close matches um but there was like pins texts all around not a lot of close matches uh so it wasn't really that entertaining probably the best match was seth gross thomas gill match because it was super close close to the match of the evening and it was a headliner match um in the future, I would say that if these other companies really want to challenge for wrestling and give them a run for their money, uh, they need to get some better wrestlers, uh, in my opinion. No one was watching this to see like a Kylie Welker wrestling Amar Tuttle or Drew Hildebrand wrestling Eric Barnett. No offense to any of those wrestlers, but they're just not like those headline wrestlers like Thomas Gilman and Seth Gross are and like how Jordan Burroughs and Kyle Dake, if they had an event, everybody would be watching that. Uh, it wouldn't even matter who they would be versing. Though, uh, in other news, they said the third wrestling underground would happen in January somehow. Uh, Seth Gross doesn't know who he would wrestle, but he said he would wrestle anyone. And yeah, that's about it. Not the most interesting event, but at least the headline match was kind of interesting, I guess. Before we end this video, I just want to say that Fanko Wrestling did a better, like more in-depth uh, like breakdown of the match between Gross and Gilman and the effect that it had on the 57 kg weight class in his video. So go check that out on his channel. But yeah, that's going to wrap up this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, comment down below, and sub for more wrestling content like this. Uh, we do wrestling reviews, breakdowns, we're going to do vlogs soon, and we review every single major wrestling news and major wrestling event. So stay tuned for that. Alright, peace.